Let's try this thing out today. See if it works. The Rockler Jigget for drawer slides. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a little different way to put these drawers in. Um, my last video on installing drawers, I showed you how to put these center line drawers in with just a jig that you make from wood, which is uh, nice, you know, because that's just a scrap piece of wood that you're making it with. But it does take a little bit of time, and you have to make jigs for individual uh, units. So, yeah, depending on how um, many of your cabinets have the same size drawers, um, you'll have to make a jig for each one. Now. I purchased the universal drawer slide uh, from Rockler, and it's a drawer slide jig, I'm sorry, I should say. And I got mine on sale. I think they run right around 30 bucks. But um, today I'm going to show you how I use them to put, to install these drawers right here in this cabinet. And uh, let's just see how that works. These drawers here are not as thick as the ones I did before, and you can see that video right up here. And I actually made a jig to put the slides you know at least above half the halfway point in those drawers because those drawers are rather heavy and i sort of want those slides to be higher up sort of give it a balance now these drawers uh, as you can see are much thinner and so i don't mind the drawer slides going down at the bottom that makes it uh, you know more of a standard location of where you put the drawer slides so in this one here i'm going to actually use the rockler jig it the universal drawer slide jig is what they call this and um so you can set it up to go at any distance up here in your drawer. But in my case, I'm just going to lay it flat on the bottom here and use this base plate right here as my spacer. And it's about an eighth of an inch. So it's going to place my drawer slide about an eighth of an inch above the bottom here. And um, all I got to do is just make sure that when I screw this piece on to my drawer, uh, I have a half inch space underneath it so that that way it puts that drawer an eighth of an inch above the bottom here so that nothing's going to be hitting on the bottom so that's it's going to um, work out the space all by itself and I don't have to worry about it so much so when using this jig um, this jig has a stop here which is nice the handle is nice it makes it nice and easy to use uh, it does have uh, this little guide which I'll talk about later on but for right now this is the way that I'm going to use this you want to set up your drawer slide so that the, pay, the piece that is facing into the side of the cabinet is out and you want to have the back of the drawer slide going away from the handle. So when you place it in, the back of the drawer slide is actually extending out and that'll be going into the drawer first. Now, I need to have a little relief here so that when I cut my panels here, my drawer uh, front panels, uh, they are going to stick out a little bit proud because they're going to have a curved edge and they're going to stick out a little bit of proud like it is on my other cabinets. So what I found is this this is actually a pen blank, an acrylic pen blank, which is a little bit small and three quarters of an inch and it actually gives me the perfect relief here. So I'm going to use this as my spacer to put to lock in my drawer slide into the Rockler jig. Now at the very front it has like a 16th, maybe an eighth, but I think it's more like a 16th inch little extension that sort of prevents the slide from going all the way up against the stop so that the slide doesn't go all the way to the edge. It's about a sixteenth inch back. So I got to remember that when I put this here that I want to go above that so that I'm not giving it an additional sixteenth of an inch because this is the perfect size for me right now. So I've placed my uh, drawer slide and yeah, let me make sure that I have it right. And I have my drawer slide locked in here. I'm going to push and lock this down. Now, once you lock this drawer slide in, it's, it's amazing how, um, how solid that thing is. I mean, you know, you don't want to like swing it around, but it is in there pretty solid, so it's kind of nice. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift these little tabs that are on the drawer slide. I'm going to lift them up so that they extend out a little bit. And so what that is for, and so what that is for is that Probably should have done that before I locked this in just to make sure it doesn't move, but let me just reset it. Okay, so what those are for is that when I place this side up against the base, it's going to extend that drawer slide out a little bit. 
And if you remember, I have about a sixteenth of an inch gap uh, wider than my drawers here. Uh, so I have the half inch on each side, so it's one inch, but I got like an inch and a sixteenth. And so extending these out are going to push the drawer slides in closer so that when I push the drawers in, it's going to push the drawer slides back into the cabinet and they bend these pieces back to where they need to be. And that's going to give me my little bit of flexibility that I need uh, to so that these drawers slide in and out relatively easy. So now I'll go about installing them. So now before I install my drawer slide in here, what I want to do is I want to pull this inside piece out if I can. If I can get that out, and it looks like I can, and I have it out. So that's going to be on my left side of my drawer. So, and what I do is I have my drawer set up over there. So I uh, went ahead and just pulled that and uh, set that on the same side of the drawer that this is on. So this is on the left side of the drawer, left side of the cabinet. So now when I put this in here, uh, now I can move this back and forth, and I have access to all of my uh, screw holes here which is what I want. So with this in place, I'm going to go ahead and get my drill here. And I have it set at about 11 so that it's, um, it's on a ratchet, but a lot of times it doesn't, um, doesn't ratchet much with these short screws and going into plywood. All right, so I'm going to reach out in here, excuse my back. So lock that in right there. Now because this jig sets it up so nice, um, you don't have to worry so much about... You only, you only have one hole on these particular drawer slides to add your screws to. So um, the adjustment ones, the adjustment ones will actually be on the drawer slide over there. But because this jig is such that um, it puts it in the same spot every time, you may not need to worry about that. So I'm going to put all four of these screws in and lock this down pretty tight. I feel confident, which is a bad thing to do on camera when you feel confident, because it only comes back and bites you. Oops. Now the magnetic pull of my drill here does create an issue when you're trying to go all around a metal slide with a screw. It tends to want to pull the screw off and place the screw where it wants to go. So another thing that I can do is just put a little pilot hole here. And now you can use an awl or anything else with that uh, to place that pilot hole. But um, Still, it's a powerful magnet on this drill. There we go. All right. So that side's in. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this side the exact same way. So for the other side, just use the other side of the jig. It has two sides to it. And um, so for that one, you just use the other side to lock it in. Okay, so I have my drawer on my countertop here, and I have this drawer slide here. That's the center part of the drawer slides that are in the cabinet. And I'm just using a half inch. Remember we talked about a half inch space between the bottom of the drawer and up to here, up to the bottom of the uh, center drawer slide piece. So using this half inch spacer here, I can place my drawer slide where I need it to be. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a quick little hole here. This is a pilot hole. And then I'm going to go ahead and place a screw in there most of the way. And again, it's really difficult, even with a pilot hole. Okay, so I want to make sure that that's right towards the front, which it is. And I'm actually going to use a hand screwdriver to adjust it the final way. 
Make sure that's spaced correctly. Adjust, I should say, tighten it the final way. Okay, move that back to there. Now, I like to use a pilot hole. You could use a, an awl or any type of um, thing to make the stamp in a hole, but that makes it a little bit easier um, to start the screw in the center. And starting to screw in the center is extremely important uh, with these guides. Okay, now right now I'm just putting in two, and I'll put two on the other side, and that way I can make any adjustments if need be, and then um, I can try the drawer in, and if everything works, I'll slide it back out and put the other two in these two solid holes here to lock the drawer slide in. So again, same process on the other side. And I'll flip it around so you can see it here. And now my drawer front is here. So, and I'm trying to handle these things without touching this edge because that edge that rides along the ball bearings of the drawer slide, that sort of um, is the edge that has the oil on it. And I still have oil, I still get oil in my hands. So it's always good to, you know, keep your hands as clean as possible while you're doing this. Although that doesn't always help every time. All right, so, or that can all, that cannot be helped every time, I should say. Hard to concentrate, think, and talk at the same time. I'm not a multitask person, at least in that way. That's obvious. Yeah, place the screw in. I'm thinking here probably would help if I had a longer screwdriver or Phillips screwdriver, I say. All right. Okay, got me a longer screwdriver. Oh, and it's just not quite long enough. But I guess I get a shorter piece of uh, half inch. But since it's just a scrap piece. Okay, so I got that tightened down pretty good. All right, so let's go back over to the cabinet. Okay, so back at the cabinet here. Take and put the drawer in. And make sure it locks in on both sides here. There we go. Wipe off my hands here and move this back here. All right, so now the first time you push the drawer in, it's obviously going to be tight because you're adjusting those side pieces. So after you push it a couple times, it should start getting a little bit easier, which it is getting a little bit easier. And eventually it will get easy enough to where It'll just slide in. All right, so I think we got it. All right, there it is. So now we're good to go. And when I measure here, these have the same distance on both sides. That works perfect. Now I can pull it out and add the last four screws to the drawer slides, door sides, and I'm good. Okay, so as you can see, I got the drawers in. I finished up adding 
my extra screws on there once I got it aligned and stuff and I, I tried it a couple times made sure everything worked uh, I went ahead and tightened up the screws so that way it's all locked in nice and tight where it is and, and I actually waited till I got my drawer fronts on for that now is this worth the 30 bucks uh, to get well you know it is a nice jig it's it's a solid jig it's easy to use it holds at least it holds the center line um, drawer slides really well and um, it is easy to line it up and use it and you do have this adjustable uh, fence here which I don't need to use but you you put it in here and you can uh, have it set here so it raises and lowers this to where you need it now when I do my next batch of base cabinets, they're all going to have this, these types of drawers. So on these drawers, you'll see that I have the center line is about midway or a little above midway on the drawer. So when I do these, I'll do another one about using this setup here and uh, aligning this so that it goes right about at this part right here, uh, or right about midway through the drawers, I should say. So I think, I think it's worth the 30 bucks. Uh, I always wait for stuff to go on sale because I'm, I'm cheap that way, but it just seems like it's, you know, you've got better value of it. But um, it does work well. And if you have any types of drawer slides uh, that you're gonna use, it works on all types, uh, which is good as compared to a jig that you make. Uh, you don't have to take the time to make the jig and uh, it is very, very adjustable. So I would say this is one tool or one little jig that uh, is worth the purchase, absolutely. So I do have links below if you want to check it out. And uh, I really appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. And please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I have uh, tips each week on things to use. And I'm also going to drag you along as I'm uh, really getting into making the cabinets uh, rather quickly now. So we'll talk all about making doors and drawers and drawer fronts and everything else. So hope to have you follow along. Thanks for watching this one.